Okay. What we're going to talk about here now is we're going to talk about the difference in that coupon rate versus the market rate. Okay. We've already been discussing a little bit, basically, that we can have a different coupon rate and a different market rate. Okay. This coupon rate is basically is just the rate at which that we're receiving on our interest payments. A coupon bond is basically an interest-only loan, uh, but it's the um, it's the rate paid. It's the rate that the company or the government entity that's issuing these bonds is just the rate they decide they want to pay, right? It's not necessarily what the rest of the market rate is going to be. It is the rate they wish to pay. They could pay 2% interest on it. They could pay 8% interest. It does not necessarily have to be exactly what the market rate is. If it differs, that means we can have a different valuation, okay? Um, the market rate, these are basically our comps, okay? This is what a comparable bond would be selling for. Now, what we no have noticed is that if these two are equal to each other, is that our present value will be equal to our maturity value. Right? The reason being is that the market rate is 10% and I'm paying 10% interest on it, is that it's going to work out to the same value. I'm paying off all my interest that's accrued every single year. Okay? Now, there's a difference that happens when the rates change. Okay? On this first one, we don't even need to put, in, put this into our calculator, right? Because we know that the, the actual value of this bond is going to be $100, okay? 8% coupon rate, 8% market rate, these rates are equal, so that means that the present value is going to be $100. Now, when we look at, at this right here on the second half, is that we know that there's a market rate that is below the coupon rate. Right, so we have to ask ourselves, am I happy with that or am I sad about that? The fact of the matter is, in this situation here, as the investor, the investor is happy. The investor is happy because they are receiving. They are receiving 8% on their money. Everyone else that's looking at something comparable is receiving 6%. Right, so they're happy. They're receiving 2% additional on their money. You're getting 2% more, right? Everybody else is getting 6%. You're getting 8%, right? You're going to be willing to pay more for that, okay? So when we do this here is that this is going to be selling at a premium. It's going to be selling above the market rate. It's going to be selling above the face value. Okay? We see this happen all the time when we look at what happens after a company issues a bond. So they'll issue a bond, right? So they'll have an issue, and then... Markets, market rates change, okay, and then that's going to change the present value. There's going to be a change in present value. 